everyone. Hope you're having a great time. Today's oh. mission is about healing a Fae that was attacked in Bor. The mission is triggered uh, once you reach the town. What kind of animal would join the red tracings? Oh. I don't care what you race. It's a tragedy uh. whenever anyone's savage like this. Just look at the poor creature. She's been beaten oh. to the brink of death. The Fae may be strange, but they certainly don't deserve oh. this. It appears she was attacked with some oh. manner of short blade. Likely a dagger, although there's no way I can be sure. People simply stood by as she called for help. No oh. one lifted a finger. Can you imagine? It's shameful to treat another in such a way, even if oh. she is a fae. I don't know whether we possess the knowledge oh. to treat such a wound. Frankly, I don't even know if I could save a mortal with such uh. grievous wounds. Uh. It's difficult to say. We've been plagued by the Red Legion for days, but it's not their way to go after the Fae in the area. They like their targets oh. mortal. In case you haven't heard, there have been some Tuatha sighting in the woods to the west, so that's also a possibility. Oh. It's unlikely, though. Well, you're the only one. Oh. With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. I'm going to suggest something oh. a bit... Untraditional. There's a fae named Eri. She spends her days up on the hill overlooking the village. Seek her wisdom. I would do it, but... I am a coward. That's the truth. Perhaps a fae will know how to heal a fae. If not, then we're back where we started. She spends her days in the precipice overlooking the village. She doesn't think we're aware of her presence, but we most certainly are. We keep a precarious peace with the Court of Summer, one that's tested every day. Oh. I lie awake at night worrying what kind of disaster awaits me in the morning. But we're a good community full of good people. Uh. We have our eccentrics, sure, but we work hard and live quietly. That's oh. the best anyone can do these days. Uh. I'm the Warden of Goreheart, and a poor one at that. I've been back from the war for only oh. six months and been warden for less than two. Now here I am with an injured fay on my doorstep. I'm a disgrace. Oh. Hope you stay in town. Oh. Oh. All right. So. Harry is up a hill overlooking Gort. I can just follow the road then turn left. secret to tell you. I am not sad. When I was a girl, my father used to tell me that when you grow old with someone, you tie your fates together and create a pattern that is part yours and part theirs. My father said that this is why when an old person dies, their partner is never far behind. But I do not... F May your hollow gods keep you mortal. I am called Airy. Your face is new to me. You are different from those in Gorhart. They amuse me, and I strive to learn all I can from them. Have you come to ask about the Tuatha? I can offer only what I know, and hope it will suffice. Yes, I witnessed this crime, although I did not recognize the one who perpetrated it. It is often difficult to distinguish one mortal from another. The victim was Eluvia but I knew her only by name. 
You must be hoping that I can offer advice, but I cannot. If she is meant for the Great Cycle, then so be it. However, I would be quite interested to find out whether one of my kind would benefit from one of your mortal remedies. I've always wondered. It will need to be powerful. Your delicate forms are far more sensitive than ours. In fact, it's astounding that you survive as long as you do. Perhaps your mortal apothecary can provide one. You can always create the potion yourself if you possess the skill. All of us are at the mercy of the changing seasons, mortal and fey alike. If it is one's time to pass into the Great Cycle, then we must not protest. The passing is keeping with autumn, and is as natural as the eventual rebirth. Farewell. So, a greater healing potion. Let me just take a quick look if I have one in my bag. Turns out, I don't. That's okay. I know where to get one. Back to the village and to my favorite merchant. Nice to see you. I don't know if I'll ever take on another apprentice, not after Karth's betrayal. It just goes to sh I'm sure I have a vial somewhere in this cottage, but I do not have the time to search for it. I'm sorry. I guess I can just buy one, but I'm kind of saving my money for training. Goodbye. Besides, she did say there's one in the cottage. I just gotta look for it myself. There's a high chance that I'll get caught if I take this now like this. I guess I have to go on stealth mode or something first. Okay, I got it. Can't talk. Herc doesn't like loafers. What is it? You made it. Just in time, too. Give me the potion. It will help, but it's not enough. Someone must go to the Fey and explain what happened here. One small misunderstanding and we'll no longer just be strangers to the Fey. We'll be enemies. She is a member of the House of Ballads, the legendary court of Fey heroes. They are warriors without equal, with centuries of glory to their names. If one of their own was killed by a mortal, the House of Ballads and its king would bring a fierce vengeance upon us. Gorhart would be a ruin by day's end. I'm not sure yet, but this is bad. She's Fey. Even worse, she's a knight in the House of Ballads. Fey don't kill their own, so it must have been someone in Gorhart. If the House of Ballads learns of this, the king will burn Gorhart to the ground. They see all mortals as invaders. We could go to the Warsworn and get an oath of protection, but that would require payment. We mustn't cover this up. But who do we tell? You're turning out to be very helpful, my friend. You have my gratitude. I'll see to it that you're honored. Rumor says that the House of Ballads has its headquarters not far from here, in Glendara to the northeast. Try to gain entrance if you can. It's east of here, in the meadows of Yolvin. The Feylands are a wicked place, 
Crawling with creatures so strange, you'll assume you're dreaming. Farewell. Hi. Right. So I've got to leave Gorod and report the attack to the Fae. It's gonna be quite a bit of run. To speak of Illuvia, impetuous fool. I told her to avoid your settlement, to avoid Odoroth altogether. She never listened to my warnings. I will chastise her appropriately upon her return. It is a loss, yes, but not the first unexpected event in this telling. What happened? you say? Your kind is too timid to even speak to us, and now you're trying to kill us. I do not understand it. However, your honesty is appreciated. Tell the people of Gorhart that they have nothing to fear from us. We mean them no ill will, as long as they leave the forest undisturbed as they found it. It is to fill an unoccupied seat in the House of Ballads. This is not a mortal concern. If Hallam learns I told you, he may see to it that I am banned from the tent. I will be here. You made it. You're back. I was so worried that the Fae had taken out the revenge on you. As usual, I was wrong. The Fae has recovered, thanks to your potion. In fact, she wishes to stay in the village for the next several weeks as she recovers. Gorehart will be a new community, a place of compassion, and it's thanks to you. Please, take my sword and buckler. They will serve you well, as they have served me. Our fate rests in the hands of a few chosen who fight in the east. You wouldn't even know it in Gorhart. We're miles away from the smoke and the screams. 
Hope you stay in town. Greetings, stranger. I understand that you are to thank for my longevity. I'm in your debt. Our people have too long stood apart. Perhaps together we can change that. I serve the House of Ballads as a squire, but I've not been home for almost a full season. They will be expecting me. That's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. See you on the next video. Please hit like if you enjoyed it and please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching.